Welcome to Big Braids Crypto. I'm your host, Mr. Big Braids, coming to you live from Reservation Somewhere. Take a look at AVT and a few other coins to uh, keep continue the night. <laughs> We're going to finish up with this uh, last set here. And, uh, you know, just take a look at all the price action. A lot of good accumulation going on. We get AVT coming in at 254, just above the 786, uh, coming in at 234. So we definitely need to keep an eye on that price action. 234 if we do lose that support there at 234 definitely see some lower price action could possibly see some sideways action with btc being so undecided uh just above the 786 and if we do start seeing some movement to the upside we definitely get back to that 265 at the 618 grab some support until the nations are making some movement to the upside so keep an eye on that price action keep an eye on btc moving up to req req coming at 0.2246 Still above the 786, just above 0 0.2089, so coming at 0.2246. You know, could possibly have got a you know, decent double bottom there. You know, could possibly be setting up with some sideways action. A lot of coins out here setting up with some sideways action, especially with BTC being so undecided. You know, like I was saying earlier, we definitely get a, you know, I'd feel more comfortable with BTC being, a, you know, just over 48 eight and above to start getting some you know some bullish action at this point you know basically been just rolling with some accumulation price action you know not getting more bang for the buck the sale continues you know until we start getting some you know better you know it's decent news you know going on you know right now we still got some russia ukraine scenario going on so you know definitely excited to see where we're going with a lot of the price action you know we've just been setting up with some sideways action accumulation prices but you know definitely uh you know you always gotta remember this is not financial advice these are my views and opinions on market only and you always gotta do what's right for you but you know definitely as far as my game plan goes i'm not here accumulating over time you know everybody because i got a lot of comments everybody's like when's the green candles gonna happen you know when you know when are we gonna get out of the sales price action you know we're basically at accumulation fees stocks are on sale cryptos on sale a lot of good price action out there at amazing prices you know how low can we go with this price action you know i mean the point the floor is insane at this moment and uh you know i'm out here loving the price action on just about everything you know we get req coded at uh 0.2246 you know as far as making some movement to the upside you know we definitely need to get back over that 618 at 0.23 Two, eight, grab some support consolidation, start making some movement to the upside. So keep an eye on that price action there at the 618. And if we do come back down and test the support at the 786 at uh, 0.2089, if we do lose that support, definitely going to see some lower price action. Could possibly just be set up with some sideways action with BTC being so undecided. And then once the market starts making some movement to the upside, then we definitely could follow suit with that as well. But uh, you know, you always got to remember this is not financial advice. These are my views and opinions on the market only. And you always got to do what's right for you. So keep an eye on the price action, keep an eye on BTC, keep an eye on the, keep an eye on the news. <laughs> we'll do a follow up video tomorrow and see where we're at. Moving on to Mir. Mir coming at $1.45. Had a little bit of dip action came off that 618 came back down and tested that support at dollar 38 at the 786 so you know just above coming in at dollar 45 so could possibly be seeing some sideways action above the 786 with btc being so undecided so but as far as making some moving back to the upside we definitely got to get back over that 618 at dollar 57 grab some support consolidation so making some movement to the upside if we do come back down and test that support at dollar 38 we do lose that support definitely out here price action so you know keep it on the price action keep it on btc we'll do a follow-up video tomorrow and see where we're at so everybody in your good luck moving on up to suku suku coming in at 0 0.2204 came back underneath that 786 as well just below that at 0 0.2352 coming at 0 0.22 even across the board you see that price action right there amazing price action for the show tonight <laughs> Could possibly be setting up with some sideways action with BTC being so undecided. Uh, so, you know, till, till the market starts making some movement to the upside, you know, a lot of the market setting up with some sideways action. But, you know, BTC trying to make some movement to the upside today. So definitely excited to see where we're going into the week year into the next decade on this <laughs> amazing price action you know we got suku coming in at 0 0.22205 so as far as making some movement to the upside we definitely definitely gotta get back over that 76 at 0 0.2352 grab some support consolidation make your way up to the 618 at 0 0.2647 and as far as getting some extremely bullish action moves to the upside we gotta get back over that 0 0.3732 grab some support consolidation start making some movement to the upside so that would be the awesome amazing bullish scenario with btc being so undecided could possibly just see some sideways action and that amazing accumulation prices <laughs> until the market starts making some movement to the upside then we can start seeing some uh you know follow-up suit to the upside as well so you know definitely keep an eye on that price action if we do come back down and test this lower support we need to keep an eye on that support at 0.1976 if we lose that support there 
definitely going to be in that how low can you go scenario. I'm definitely out here looking for some lower price action, but uh, you know, uh, you know, could just possibly be wishful thinking at this point. So keep an eye on the price action. Keep an eye on PTC. We'll do a follow-up video tomorrow and see where we're at. Uh, so everybody in Suku, good luck. Moving on to SNT. SNT coming in at 0.0649. Keep back underneath that 786. Just been doing some, you know, sideways motion below the 786 with BTC being so undecided. So as far as making some movement to the upside, we definitely got to get back over that 786 at 0.0701. Grab some support consolidation. Make your up to the 618 at 0.077. And, uh, you know, as far as getting some extremely bullish action movement to the upside, we got to get back over this 0.092. Seven, grab some support consolidation, make your way over this point oh, 1024 and start making some movement to the upside with BTC being so undecided. Could possibly see some sideways action until the market starts seeing some movement to the upside. So, you know, this would be the awesome, amazing, bullish scenario. So, with BTC being so undecided, could possibly just see that sideways action below the 786. And if we do make it above the 786, could possibly see some sideways action above the 786 until BTC starts making some extremely move extreme movement to the upside and uh you know so definitely keeping on that uh, that resistance there at the 786 and keeping in the support that the support at 0.0613 we'll do a follow-up video tomorrow and see where we're at so everybody at SNT good luck moving on up to uh nct nct oh trying to jump the gun here now you know it's been a long monday night there so <laughs> I'm <laughs> trying to keep on going, but uh, yeah, definitely keep an eye on all that price action, keep an eye on BTC, and uh, you know, definitely keep an eye on the news. We got a lot of stuff going on in the news today that can affect the market on the regular. So, you know, for everybody and all the coins we talked about tonight, good luck. And you always have to remember this is not financial advice, these are my views and opinions on the market only. You always have to do what's right for you. So, you guys have a good afternoon, good evening, good morning, good night. Mr. Big Braids is signing now.